Good morning. Thanks for joining us. I'm Emily Vukovic. What started as a pleasant evening balloon ride turned into a nail biter for the 11 people on board. Take a look at this amateur video for injuries. After a bout of extreme humidity followed by severe storms and flash floods, Southern Anyone who read the Misty series as a kid will recognize this scene. It was the wild pony swim. <laughs> Cute nonetheless. That's looking at your newscast for this half hour. We will have another update for you in 25 minutes. And Tom Reynolds is coming up next with traffic. Hi there, good morning. It is Thursday and it's sunny and it's pleasant today. We are going to see temperatures stay a little bit below the seasonal average, just like yesterday. A lot of people were taking advantage of the calm weather conditions. Weather. <laughs> now today, very similar conditions. Temperatures expected to get into the low 20s, but here's our next weather maker. This one's going to be our story on Saturday. So until then, we've got sunshine, calm conditions through the overnight tonight, but cool dipping down into the teens yet again. This area of low pressure is going to be moving over the Great Lakes by Friday evening, and then it's going to be our story for the city of Toronto come Saturday afternoon. To the east, still relatively stormy through parts of Nova Scotia, Montreal, Ottawa, under that same umbrella of high pressure. Across the prairies, it has been so stormy through Calgary, uh, parts just south of Calgary. They had a tornado warning again yesterday. And Vancouver, much of B.C., still sunny, hot, and dry. We will talk about... Our weekend forecast in more detail coming up in just a few moments. But right now, Tom, is everybody behaving themselves? No, they're not. 